Hello friends, I'm Himanshu Jain, I'm one of the co-founders of the Wall Street School. This video is in continuation on the series of learning Excel from the Wall Street School. Especially the accounting and the chartered accountant fraternity who sit late at night during the last part of the month trying to get the reports from this Excel and that Excel and <laughs> brooding over the sort of monotonous work that you do, I have some good news. There's a bit of trick in Excel in which you can extract the different worksheets data into a single worksheet just in a click of a button like this. So in this video, you're going to learn that you have a link to download the Excel, download that, watch this video till the end, do it and thank me later. And in case you find it insightful, share with your friends and your colleagues so that more people can take the advantage of this. So let's get started. Hello friends, welcome back. Welcome to another content based video from the Wall Street School. This video is on an interesting concept and an important one as to how to extract and collate data from multiple sheets into a single worksheet. Essentially, we are going to use indirect formula. Important one, simple, effective and once we do it, it saves a lot of our time. So how it works is, you have the file to download. The link is there in the description box. Download the file, watch it, do it, learn it and in case you find it insightful, share with your friends and your colleagues. So let's see what we are going to do over here. Now over here, I have four different worksheets of employee A in which I am given the basic salary, the monthly and the annual salary over here. I also have employee B whose uh, basic salary and monthly and annual salary is mentioned over here. I also have employee C whose basic salary, monthly and annual salary is mentioned over here and I have employee D whose basic salary and monthly and annual salary is mentioned over here. So four different worksheets. Over here, there are four different employees. The only thing which is similar to them is that the template is same for all of them, for A and B and C and D. The template is same. Now over here, if you see the template, it starts from, the details start from cell B4 here and it gets over at cell F59. It starts from the cell B4 here for employee B also it ends on cell 59, F59. So the template is same for A, B, C, D. What I'm wanting is there are multiple worksheets. As a final output, I need all this over here collating the data from multiple worksheets. And it has to be done by putting a single formula here and dragging it and you're getting all the numbers. Single formula and then you drag it, you get all the numbers. This is the assignment that you are supposed to do. Now one simple straightforward thing is that I, because I have the employee names here, I have the basic salary, the house rent, the medical reimbursements convenience, the headings are mentioned. I can do it with a single step by step. I can do it for A and B and C and D. But for those who are from the accounting fraternity or who are from the CA fraternity, uh, you know, in case you're sitting late night, you know, especially at the end of the month, when you're supposed to collate the data from multiple worksheets, how do you do that? A simple, straightforward, the Desi Juga that we know is, do it for a one single sheet here uh, and you get for A. So let me do it for here, you know, for A. So the way we could have done it is using maybe a VLOOKUP formula, simple VLOOKUP formula. So I said, I'll not get into the nitty gritties of teaching you the VLOOKUP formula. I'm assuming you know how to use the VLOOKUP formula. In case not, please refer to the previous videos that we have shared with you so that you comprehend it. I'm assuming you know the VLOOKUP formula and this is that, you know, you're, you're doing it. So I said VLOOKUP, what's my lookup value? I said lookup value is this number, oh, sorry, basic salary. This is my lookup value. I do a uh, row fix here, a table array, I go to a worksheet, I go to a worksheet and I select this entire table array till the end. A worksheet, select this entire table array till the end. 
fix it because this is going to remain the same and assuming I need this for uh, the annualized or the monthly one maybe let's go with the monthly one so monthly one is column one and two and three so I said three comma range lookup is by default I use it as an exact match so I take it as zero here so this is what happens with this my VLOOKUP formula I get this data and I can drag it and I can get the data over here like this now let me for a minute just put uh, the values over here so that we understand so this is for call uh, you know for this is for the worksheet named A so let me do a similar stuff for worksheet name B I said we look up I said look up what I said look up for the basic salary I do a row fix comma my table array I go to the B worksheet and I select the range from cell B4 to F I go to cell F 45 comma I said the same one two three comma range lookup is exact match to take it as zero and I can drag this formula and I can do it I can get all the numbers for the corresponding values so uh, let me just also put this formula here let me just also put this formula so that we understand what we're trying to do here you go so everything is same because my template is same for worksheet a b c d everything is the same the only difference is that over here i use the vlookup formula uh, and if you could read this well it says the you know over here i said vlookup i said my lookup value my lookup value is the same c5 in both the cases because this is my lookup value then my table array if it is worksheet if it is worksheet a it says the worksheet name exclamation sign and then the range of the table array from b4 to f45 and if i talk of worksheet b it says my lookup value and then my table array in table array it says the worksheet name then the exclamation sign and then b4 to f45 so everything is the same in the table array except for that it is changing the worksheet name for B and similarly for C also it will be the worksheet name C and this everything will remain the same and similarly for D also so my template is the same the only thing is the worksheet name changes and then corresponding this A and B and C correspondingly changes now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the indirect formula here now let's understand what's an indirect formula now if at all I put that in Excel here indirect it says returns a reference specified by a text string returns a reference specified by a text string that means what now let's understand this I have this raw data for understanding the indirect formula suppose this is the raw data which I have here and this is a data taken from one of the databases and suppose I uh, you know these are the cell addresses so this is the beat column and suppose I'm over here it says I'm on the seventh column and the sixth row and if at all I'm over here it says I'm on the beat column and the eighth row over here now suppose I put in here say let me put in B4 let me put in say uh, D6 let me put in here B5 or something like this now instead of directly jumping here what index formula says is in case I said here give me indirect it returns a reference specified by a text string so I said indirectly take me to b4 and if I do that here it gives me Akshat Sharma which is over here b4 and I copy this and I drag it down I said indirectly take me to the cell d6 so d6 is this value here it takes me over here similarly for Akanksha Singh I indirectly Excel has taken me to Akanksha Singh which is the cell B5 here so indirectly I'm reaching where I'm wanting Excel to reach I'm predefining that so we are going to use the same indirect formula within this VLOOKUP 
so that Excel automatically captures what I'm wanting to ask it to, to give me here. Uh, why do that? Now let's understand specifically this part here, the array, because the only change is happening in the array here. So what I'm doing is, let me write it so that we understand. Specifically, the table array, in the VLOOKUP formula, it says my worksheet name, my worksheet name, then the exclamation sign, and then it says B4 to F45. From B4, it says to F45. Now, before I proceed to what we were doing in trying to solve, let me teach you another thing because that is something which will be useful in applying this formula. This concept called and this thing. It's the same thing as concatenate also in case you're aware of. For example, I have here the, I have here the wall, I have here the street, and I have here the school. And I want everything should come in a single cell. I use the and I use and. I said the wall. I used and. I said and and then street and then use and and then I said school. So everything comes in a single word over here like this because I've used and so it has merged the, the values in different cells into a single cell. And suppose I want to give a space bar here uh, between the wall and the, the street. What I can do is I can just simply use uh, and and I can just use the space bar and again use and and over here again a space bar a space bar and giving some spaces and again use this and key okay and so on so so so, so you can see the spaces is coming over here as, as the case may be so you can use it on similar lines it is same thing as the concatenate function which is there in excel it joins several text strings into a single string so we're going to use the and condition in trying to solve this so let's do it well and let's try to understand what i'm saying is let's put the formula back here remember this the worksheet name exclamation sign from b4 to f45 so let me put the formula i said we look up what's my lookup value my lookup value is the basic salary this is what I'm wanting to look up in this table array, the basic salary. So I said my basic salary, I said we look up, my lookup value is my basic salary and I'm fixing the row here. I'm fixing the row. You know how to fix the row? By pressing the F4 key twice so that if at all I go down, it will pick up the basic salary. If at all I go on the right hand side, it will pick up the house rent and the medical reimbursements as the case may be. That allows me the liberty to move down with keeping my headings intact. So I've frozen the row over here. Come. What's my table array? Now this is important because my table array remains, the cons remains consistent throughout the worksheet. So table array is, I remember, it's my worksheet name, exclamation sign, it says B4 to F45. Worksheet name. So worksheet name, exclamation sign B4 to F45. So only thing which changes is the worksheet name. So what I'll do is, small trick. I said indirectly, indirectly, it returns the reference specified by a text string. It returns the reference specified by a text string. So I said indirect. Indirectly give me what? I said this value. And I do a column fix here indirectly and I said and again that same concatenate it is going to join uh, the things from different worksheets uh, sorry from, from different cells so I said what I said exclamation sign B4 to F45 B4 to F45. So it is indirectly give me indirectly give me a exclamation sign B4 to F45. And I close this here. Indirectly a worksheet exclamation sign B4 to F45. And what column index number? I need three. 
because I need the monthly ones and range lookup I keep it exact match so I take it as false or I take it as zero and I close the bracket here you go just remember I have done a column fix in my b6 so that if at all I go down it should pick up a b c and d and if at all I go on the right hand side it should still pick up the column a b c and d over here as the case may be and if I do enter here here you see and if at all I go down I get the values populated from all the different worksheets just in a click of a button here you go like this what is happening is if at all I go over here to sell uh, to worksheet B uh, it gives me the values from the B to worksheet indirectly from the B to worksheet exclamation sign B4 to F45 and that it takes the number so if you see the worksheet B it has the monthly data of 30,000 and then 9,000 and 1250 as the case may be that allows me the magic and the power to extract data from multiple sheets so the, this is only four worksheets but what happens is when I have voluminous amount of data and voluminous amount of sheets suppose it is 50 sheets or 60 sheets or 70 sheets just need to click this and you will get this sheet here and we can do we can try that for example the power of Excel here suppose let me insert another worksheet let me insert another worksheet let me make it say worksheet uh, worksheet E uh, and let me just change the data for purpose of our understanding so let me make it say uh, 33,000 and let me make it say 2800 or something like that now because the template is the same I just need to add another worksheet called worksheet E and it will automatically same 33,000 and 2800 it will automatically flow here that's how we can collate and extract data from multiple worksheets into a single worksheet. Friends, in case you are getting some value from these content-based videos from TWSS, to put that in the comment section so that we can provide similar value added content to our viewers. And if you find some merit in it, do share with your friends and your colleagues so that more people can know about this trick and uh, become more efficient. And in case you like this video, please press on the like button. Thanks for watching.